let's admit it. CSS is better than the old nested tables we used to use and the, you know, the one by one transparent GIFs that we used to put everywhere. But it's still kind of tricky. It's some people have a hard time with it. And, you know, a lot of times you get stuck in that endless cycle of make a change, refresh, make a change, refresh. Tailwind hopes to help with that. But even learning that can be tricky sometimes. And today's extension hopes to help. Let's uh, get to it. Hello world, my name is Michael Jolly and I'm the Bald Bearded Builder. Real quick, let me remind you that we stream on Twitch three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 2 Eastern, 6 GMT, I think is what that is. It's twitch.tv slash baldbeardedbuilder. Please come hang out with us. We'd love to see you. Let's get to our extension. Today, it, we're talking about Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Now, you're thinking, why do I need IntelliSense for this? Well, you know, when you're picking up Tailwind, the, the hardest part is to kind of understand the, the syntax and terminology they use. I love the statement from their founder that if you can resist the urge to retch long enough to give it a shot, you'll wonder why you used uh, anything else. And, and, and I kind of agree. It took me a while to get used to using Tailwind, but now I, I have a hard time going back to just vanilla CSS. But the extension, you know, if you want to download it, we've left the link in the description. As always, you can easily click the extensions icon, search for Tailwind CSS IntelliSense, and press the install button. Once it's installed, you're going you're gonna to get IntelliSense for all the weird Tailwind syntax, right? So, so why would you need this specific extension? There are three main features that I think are kind of game changers. It's probably a, lot, a little bit of hyperbole, but they're really helpful when you're working with Tailwind, for sure. And, and I don't like to work with Tailwind without them because there's so many so many parameters to remember. Not parameters, it's the wrong word, but classes. And I can't keep up with them all. This is kind of my cheat sheet, right? So the first feature is autocomplete. When you open up some kind of CSS or maybe you're using Vue or React, whatever, when you're typing that and you're using like your apply statements, you get into the autocomplete in the IntelliSense where when you type in, you know, text, it starts giving you all the options for text. Do you want text small, medium, large? Do you want it to be this color, that color? You know, all those sorts of things are there. And it makes it easy for me to not remember. And usually, usually, the syntax is similar to what I would have written in just CSS. So if I'm looking for something with CSS Flex, normally I'm going to start with Flex. Uh, if I'm looking for something with CSS Grid, normally I'm going to say Grid. You know, they kind of walk hand in hand. They're similar, not always exactly the same, but similar enough that I can find it. And with IntelliSense, I can zero in on it. Okay, the second feature. Let me preface this with mistakes are going to be made. You're going to misspell something or you're going to start looking for something in the wrong place. And that's where the linting capability really shines. It provides you that feedback right in your editor and it'll actually show in that problems view inside of VS Code. And the best part about it is if you're kind of off just a little, it'll provide some hints like, did you mean to say text-red-500? And it, it, the great thing about that is it's kind of makes it discoverable. Like I might be kind of in the ballpark of the, the classing and styling I wanted, but that hint may give me the, the push I need to go in the right direction and get it set. One feature I really like is the number three one for me. It's it's previewing the CSS. So if you hover over a, a Tailwind class, it'll actually give you a tool tip that shows you the CSS that that class will generate. Some of these classes will generate, you know, more than one line of CSS, depending on what you're choosing. And it's fantastic to kind of see that translation. It, it really helps when you're writing the code that if you're not quite sure that uh, text SM is what you want, you can mouse over it and see the CSS and go, oh yeah, yeah, it's changing my size right where I want it. That's, that's the one I wanted. Or no, that doesn't seem right. Let me try something else. It speeds up all of my development and all my styling. There's a few, there's several ways to customize this extension and I'm gonna let you discover most of them. The one I do wanna point out though is some language support. There's a lot of languages already supported by the extension, but if you have a case where you need to add something special, uh, this is maybe a bad example because I think it's already covered, but you can go into the uh, preferences, settings, 
go search for Tailwind CSS and Telesense. And then there's an option, it's called Tailwind CSS Include Language. It allows you to just add records, like a little table, and you're providing it the, the file type you are using, and then a language that it should handle that file type as. So you could add, you know, view, and then say handle that as a CSS file, or HTML, or JavaScript. That way, the it, it supports that new language language in the same way that it would support that other file you're giving it. It's a nice little handy thing. I, I think it also already supports view dot view files, but if you had something else you needed to add, like a JSX file, for instance, you could add it there and get support on those extensions. I've really enjoyed using Tailwind CSS in a few projects. My personal website's using it right now uh, in tandem with Nuxt.js. If you like Tailwind, I'd love to hear what you're building with it. And I'd love to see some designs. Share those in the comments with me. And listen, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos about VS Code extensions or developer life in general, be sure to hit subscribe and ding that bell to know when we release a new video. Until next time.